Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to day two here at the 2022 RV Industry Open House in Elkhart, Indiana. I'm Mike Caudill, brand ambassador for Go RVing. And uh, no, I am not in a field. I am at my next happy place, uh, which is here just next to the museum. And I am over in the Lance uh, display. And that's where we are going to start our day with my new <laughs> best friend <laughs> it's so, so here's the situation right like <laughs> you get to meet so many incredible people in the rv industry and i feel like i bounce from booth to booth and i'm yeah, like yeah. my new best friend my new best but guess what i really do think bob and i we're going to create a friendship outside of Kinder today spirits. we are we both uh, have some yeah. southern california heritage together we For both sure. are motorcycle guys although we'll, yeah, cool. that's a whole separate video on <laughs> on how you're making your mistake with your yeah, motorcycle i know i know dude um, i listen to you i believe but you. we're here to talk about what lance is doing in the industry right yes, now sir. and we've got some really cool new products that we're going to share with our viewers today Great. um and it starts with this one behind us uh, yeah. you and i were talking off off video yep and I thought what was really cool is that you were saying, you know what, we build, you know, we have a small version, we have a large version, and then we, we listen to our consumers, right, our customer base. And, and Bob Rogers is the director of marketing for Lance, and so we have these really great conversations. And you said, look, we're going we're gonna to invite our customers to give us feedback. Right. So tell us about this sure. and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and some of the history, too. Yeah, no, I love the history. Yeah, yeah. So Lance has been around since 1965, so a long time. But we do get a lot of VLC, or voice of our customers, we call it in the, in the marketing speak, and we listen. So we had a 1575, which is a 15 foot long travel trailer, almost 16, and they loved it, but it had two main features it didn't have. And one was a walk around bed, and the other one was a nice big TV. And third, didn't have a sink in the, in the bathroom. So we took all those features, grew it a little bit longer, and did the 1875 and put all of them in it. So let's let's yeah, yeah. let's just walk inside. Absolutely. I'm going to bring my my camera guy. We're going to walk inside here for a minute. We're going to take a look. Bob, tell us a little bit about the interior of this and what makes it so amazing and special. Absolutely. Um, the first thing I noticed was even though on the outside, yeah. it it has that small stature. Yeah. I mean, man, I could do a full workout on yeah. the inside. There's like <laughs> plenty of room in here, dark colors, great decor. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So basically, again, we start with the the dinette, the pullout dinette. So U shaped dinette. Once you get the slide out, it grows all this room. It's a nice U shape, but it's 40 inch TV. So we're glamping, we, they want luxury, put a big TV in it. Like I said, we grew the, the bathroom enough to put a sink in it, which they really liked. But the main thing too is on the bed, it's a walk around bed now, but we also integrated the rollover sofa. So it gives yeah. you more seating more during seating the day, room. but then you flip it over real easy and you have your bed. So I think this will be our number one floor plan easily because it just does everything. It, it's interesting, you know, when you travel around um, the show, yeah. one of the things that my wife and I always talk about is that uh, we have a 15 year old we have a 13 year old and we love to play games like even at home like you know as we're eating dinner instead yeah. of having the television on instead of people you know being on their their devices we actually sit around and we play games and one thing we talk about in the the rv world is that there's never enough space made and i was just i sat down and i'm like all right where are my kids where are my yeah. wife gonna go like yep. tyler's gonna sit here <laughs> megan's gonna sit here Flora's yep. gonna and we can play our games yeah. and have a good time um yep. i want to note this bob yes windows yeah. right like if i want to open this up i have i can park this at the beach i can see the beach right. i have plenty of, of viewing space uh you mentioned glamping you got these beautiful yeah. <laughs> these beautiful lights up here well one thing i love about these windows is they go all the way up so almost 45 degrees and you get that breeze going through yeah. there it, it's beautiful and so this yeah. turns into a bed absolutely so, so you have this goes bed, bed capacity bed, as well bed in here as well yeah. now i noticed that your apparel the way you're dressed today right <laughs> so the way the way bob is dressed today makes me want to get up into the mountains of colorado i'm thinking about moab and that is going to lead us to your new fun crown jewel in fact when i walked up you were you were over here yeah yeah you're like you know I'll take care of my baby check me out my yeah. patagonia <laughs> jacket i got my mountain bikes and yeah. so this is the all new enduro just right. just look at it right yeah. it's like that guy on what's that guy's name on youtube he's like look at it just just look, at, just it. look, just at, look at, it. at it you know when you look at the lance enduro and i've seen a, this is the this is the thing this year it's all about overlanding yep Man, give us the highlights of what makes this special. And I've seen a few. This one's got some really cool features. Yeah, we're pretty proud of the Enduro. We've been at it for almost two years in development to get it right. We've been going to Overland shows for the last seven years. Um, I'm into the lifestyle, so I think we got the features right, the feature set. A lot of the people we camp with say, listen, you know, we want an indoor shower and an indoor toilet minimum. After that, we don't need a lot more, but we, we put the comforts in it. So minimalistic design, but super durable. 
off-road capable, but take all my toes with me. Whether it's mountain bikes, even put a motorcycle on the front, as we talked about yeah, earlier, yeah, yeah. you can do that. But a couple really cool features yeah, this is, is a water filtration Yeah, look at this system. right here. So we have a 40 gallon freshwater tank, right? To be on your own, but if you go through that 40 gallons, which if you don't tell certain people to take a good shower, they can spend the water quickly in shower. If you have a water source, any water source, creek, lake, whatever, drop this in, fill your water tank back up, and you have drinkable water, which is really cool. I love that. I love yeah. the fact that you, you said minimalist, and I'm, <laughs> it might be small in stature, right. but I will tell you, this thing is everything. far from minimalist. So right. we're going to bring you guys down around. You've got enough for four, but really that pop temp, that's like a new theme, right? You're seeing on these overlanders that you want to have that flexibility of a minimalist, as you said, Bob, feature, right. but everyone wants to be under the sun, right? So you have the ability to climb up the side and then come on, Bob, let's yep. make our way around. Yep. I thought this was such a cool feature. Everyone's going to bamboo. Gotta have First bamboo. person here telling me that gotta, bamboo gotta is how they're bamboo. engineering in so our table that front inside area. And their sink top, got to yeah. have bamboo, right? And then up here, talk yeah, about so, these. Yeah, uh, so Molly panel uh, is big in this industry. You can strap stuff to it, as you'll see inside, but it just makes a great door cover, too. Keep your stuff in it. Propane stove is Love hooked it. up. Uh, pull out utensil drawer, so we have uh, cut out foam, plug foam. Out. You can cut your own design to keep your utensils from flying around, that kind of thing. Uh, Truma. Truma cooler, electric cooler, can be a freezer or a, or a refrigerator. This thing's which huge. Is great. Yeah, they, they're this so This is like, nice. this. They I feel great. like I could drop this, you know, 30 feet out of, a, yeah. out of a plane and this thing would still work. Yeah. Um, hitch on the back, yep. how's it rated? Uh, that one's going to be rated at probably about 450. Okay, so you got so. 400, so that means you could put a couple mountain bikes on the back. Absolutely. And on the front, if you really wanted to get out there, you could you could move some bikes, yep. bikes here, motorcycle on front. Absolutely. All right, we're going to swivel around. Yep. Before we close this out, we're going to let Bob go inside first, of course. Like, by the way, the boulders. You like I mean, my steps on it? Let's make it feel like we're in Moab. <laughs> so as we make our way inside, again, it's all about this functionality. Bob was showing me this table earlier. Yeah. Like, how so cool is this? Way around. So if we want to play. you want. We want to play a game. Way. We can slide it around, like or work or... things slide right out. And yeah. you just said work, which is great, right? <laughs> yeah. One thing we've learned over the last few years is that people they want to get away. They Absolutely. want to break. Yep. They want they want to take a little bit of time on their own, but they still need to be able to work. Yeah. So you created a functional. You know, you've got power here, right. USB. Um, and all the, the seating connectors design was is very intentional in the fact that a lot of seating areas and small trailers you either have to sleep in it or sit in it. This one I wanted to be able to have, if you want, you know, your partner wanted to take a nap, they can do that while I'm working or playing or eating lunch at the same time. Or this drops down in here, makes up a king bed at makes night. Makes a bed. This unit doesn't have it, but it's going to have a drop down bunk for kids. So actually two cots that drop down, so little kids can be in here. So yeah, with the rooftop tent, you sleep up to six. How much does this weigh? This weighs 3,200 pounds. Okay. Uh, with a thousand pound cargo. So we rate, we're going to rate it at 4,500 GVWR. Okay. We really wanted to get into that jeeper territory that could tow it and a lot of vehicles could tow rubicon it, so. absolutely yeah rubicon, bronco landiator uh bronco might be um, on the border uh they have a 5,000 rating so you could okay. do it yep you yep. just need to be absolutely. a little smart about what you pack no motorcycle is going to go on that one yeah okay exactly. but yep, it's good to know it. you know as yep. people watch these videos and they try and learn more yeah. uh gives them a feeling about it yep. uh, you've got a shower you got a restroom like full absolutely. functionality in here as well you got storage up top everything that you want from an overlanding experience you are going to get with lance so um i want to point these out only because we are here i know we're not focused on them today but You've got travel trailer, you've got overlanding, and then you've got cab over, right? So yeah. you've got these two Lance examples over here. I, yep. I've got a Raptor, I had an F-250. Yeah. I mean, that's also another growing market. You've got pop-outs on is. them. And, and the, the overlanding market loves truck campers as well. Put them on an F-250, F-350, and things like that. So yeah, we've been building truck campers for 56 years now, so we're that's pretty awesome. good at those two. All right, yeah. so massive thank you to my new thank friend, you, Bob. Um, yeah. I'm sure we're going to be connecting in the future. If you want to yeah. learn more about what's going on at Lance or yeah. even see some of the other videos that we posted yesterday and throughout the rest of the week, two spots, of course, to go. You're going to go to Go RVing. Check out all our social channels. Go to our website. A lot of great information on there. And then if you want to learn more about yeah. Lance, where do you go? LanceCamper.com. Pretty easy, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to be coming live, you guys, later on today with more great news here at the 2022 RV industry open house. We'll see you guys in a bit.